breaking news here on Martin Lucas Investor. I know many of you now are asking what is going on with Virgin Galactic. The markets are going down. My overall portfolio is going down. Let's have a look. Let's go into Virgin Galactic now and have a look. What is going, going on? Well, it should come no, as no surprise to you. We've been talking about it for weeks. In fact, talking about it forever. And what we've been talking about has now happened. It's not gone exactly to the, to, to, to the, to the scent of where I said it would go, but pretty close. So let's discuss very briefly what is going on with Virgin Galactic in the after hours. Well, we know from experience that Virgin Galactic often post information in the after hours. It just seems to be the way they do things. What has happened? What am I doing? What are you doing? And this video is just intended to keep everybody calm because I know I'm going to get lots of questions about why has Virgin Galactic gone down. So before I tell you, I will say to you, forever, literally two years, I have said consistently, when we get the flight, it would go up to seven bucks and then fall back to five on dilution. That has what, that has, that is what has just happened. This is the exact number, if you want to uh, quote me on it. SPCE raises 300 million, seeking another 400 million to expand spacecraft fleet. What they've done is they released more um, shares, which devalues the shares that you have. It makes them worthless. That's what's gone on right now. That's why the value of the stock has gone down. People are selling because they know the stock is going to go down. However, in my opinion, that's a mistake. And I will tell you why. I said when it got to seven, they would dilute. And it would fall back to five. Well, we didn't quite get to seven. And now we're back at 490. So it fell, it didn't quite get to seven and it's gone below five. But thereabouts in the realms you know, I haven't got a crystal ball, even though some people think I have. And of course, I actually do. But you know what I'm saying? Uh, anyway, um, that's what's happened. Now, I did say that before uh, this, that if we hadn't have got, and this is why they did it, if we'd only had the Italian flights announced, this would have gone to 150. It's why I didn't chase the stock when it went up. It's why I buy it at three, three fifty, four around the, those prices. My my average is three ninety six. Why I didn't buy it on the way up? Why I'm not selling it on the way down? Fortunately, we did get some extra information, and that that extra information was the fact that we got regular flights, which is good. Which is why I said it would go to seven and back down to five, which is pretty much where it is. In the morning, when we wake up, I would imagine we're going to get the shorters coming in, trying to drive it back down because it could go to 150. It could. Let's get realistic, folks. It absolutely could. I don't think it's going to now, though, because the information about the regular flights will hold it up. If it does, I'd buy a ton more. We've got the flights. We've got the bookings. We've got the income coming in. We've got the hotels being built. Everything is great. I've got no issue with this now at all. This is exactly what um, was expected to happen. I am not surprised that people are selling, but I think it's a lack of understanding of the strength now of the stock and where it's going. I do think, oh, hang on a minute. Eric says donated $2.99. I love my Martin Lucas television. <laughs> Thank you very much indeed. That came through a live, this is, this is a live video I'm making this. So if you want to do a martinlucas.com forward slash tip, you can do a crypto tip and uh, mentions your favorite doge, uh, your favorite crypto. And there are no fees unlike there are with YouTube. Uh, so thank you very much uh, for that, Eric B. So what has happened here is exactly what we expected to happen. It's why I didn't chase it on the way up. Now, many of you chased it up to five and six. Now you're holding the bag again. I advised against that. This is not financial advice. Uh, this is exactly as, as expected. Now, I want to be, I want to add another thing, which is very important. If, 
if there wasn't the information about the regular flights. And this information that uh, Sensei just sent in a few moments ago, one of our sponsors, by the way, if we didn't have this information that the money was was being used to expand the, 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 the fleet, it would go down to 150. But we do have the, the regular flights and we do have the information about uh, building the fleets. This is all good. This is all good. So I am happy. A company can't expand. And as shareholders, we want the company to expand because we want the company to make more money to return to the shareholders. So they can't do that without capital investment. And I always said they would raise money. Now, they said on their earnings, they wouldn't. However, sorry, they wouldn't do it this way. They would find other ways. I said they will. And the reason why I said they will is because I've watched every earnings for the last two years, two and a half hours of earnings every time and watched the body language, listen, or not watch, we can't see them, but listened in between the lines, read the balance sheet. And I always said, this is what was going to happen. This is why that I, I like buying it at three, 350, 390. And at that level, I am very confident that I'm always going to be in on the money. Anyway, if you are concerned tonight, if you are worried, uh, I can't stop you from being fearful. The only reason you are fearful is for uh, a few reasons. One, you don't understand the stock. You're just buying it because it's sexy rock and roll and it's space and everybody else is buying space and it sounds great and you can't buy SpaceX because you don't have $25,000. Or um, you, 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 you've you not researched the balance sheet and, uh, and fully understand the stock. I do. And I was expecting this. If you've just bought at five, at six, and you're worried, I can't give financial advice but I wouldn't be selling because we're not in tax season. We're not looking to post tax losses. Why would you want to sell when next week it's going to be up? This is good news. It's good news for those investing because it means the quality of the stock has just got better. Yes, we've got dilution. Yes, the shares are worth less, but we're building more rocket ships for paying customers. All of that is good. No surprise, they're doing the right thing. If, however, you're a gambler and you bought at the top and now you're concerned because you're thinking, flipping out, I paid five and six. If you dump it now, you're going to be losing money and, uh, and, and then you're going to feel really bad when it starts coming up again. So that's my, that's my thoughts. Uh, I would uh, like your uh, uh, thoughts on that. I've got more videos coming out now. If you look up here, you will see uh, our playlist. And I've got some information sent in today by Lewis, Martin, and others about the celebrities who are flying the information. I will be posting that as I get through it and as I search it out. If you click up here, it will take you to our special event tomorrow night, Virgin Galactic event tomorrow night. And if you click down here, you'll see the invitation to Beth Moses to join us for our special birthday in a few days time. Until next time, be calm, be re re relaxed and informed. Take care of yourselves and each other.